Good morning, we're live on the Trade Decorator Festival. Thank you for joining me. And this morning we're gonna be joined by Richard Jones from Flex for a live Q&A. Um, we have got a competition for this um, event. Um, we we're gonna be looking at how much you know about Flex and we'll be asking a question um, and the winner will be the person, the first person to type the answer in the comments section. Um, so keep an eye out for that later on in the session. Um, and you could win a cordless drywall screwdriver. It's 18 volt and it's got a screw magazine attachment and the RRP is 459 pounds. So good luck. Now, what's this session about? Well, we've been working exclusively with Flex to bring you a review of the Flex Giraffe GE7 um, drywall sander for walls and ceilings. Um, Jordan Charters at Charters and Sons, one of our reviewers on the Trade Decorator product review team, has had the machine on review and we're going to be bringing you his opinions and showing you how he got on with the machine. So um, let's have a look at the review and I'll see you back here um, for the Q&A. Hi, and on behalf of Trade Decorator TV, I'm back with another review. This time it is for the gir giraffe sander from Flex, Flex Power Tools. And um, I'll put this sander up to the test. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. I've not even looked at the sander yet, that's how busy I've been. So I'll open the bag, I'll show you what's inside, and I'll show you how all the features work. If you're looking for new drywall sanders, this might be one of the throwing them in. And they are um, very much in the dust of sander movement and everyone is starting to complete their kits with a giraffe sander for ceilings and walls. So this is another one to think about and I'll show you everything you need to know about it. Let me get out of the bag. Inside this snazzy bag, which is, in my opinion, a little bit too large, um, the Flex GE7. So here's the sander here, I can put the old model, they have compromised the extendable handle with a much more comfortable sander to hold and of course a lighter sander. This sander, the Flex GE7, is very very unique compared to all your other sanders and this is what's going to throw it in the mix compared to your competitors. And it's for this simple fit feature here. So they all come with this standard head but they all do this. So the removable head feature allows room for different sanding heads. Now this sanding head will come to later. It just looks like a standard head, but there's more to it. It also comes with the triangle for those tight 45 degree angles. And of course, an orbital with a flat surface for getting into those internals, just so you can get closer to the inside of the internals. Um, so there's three, four possible sanding heads. The standard head, the general purpose, and now this head. This is the newest bit of technology towards the sander and it is a random orbital that just allows a much finer finish. It actually shows you a little diagram of how it works and it basically just gives that smoother finish. Very, very handy little sanding head. So I'll, I'll try it out and see what the difference is. But my favourite one has to be this one because I'm forever moaning about not getting into the terms. So this hopefully presses up against the wall like so and you'll actually see there's maybe five, five mil um, off the internal. By the time you put the paper on and by the time it spins as well, you're probably cutting that down to about two or three. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this out and seeing how it performs. I do think as first impressions go, this is really comfortable to hold. Um, I've got quite large hands, but um, I can grip around quite comfortably. Compared to the old model, which I have tried, um, it is a, uh, definitely a lot more comfortable to hold and it feels really light although the sanding head is off it um, and I do like this the trigger for uh, starting the power is right here it's almost like a hedge trimmer it's really really comfortable and of course you've got all your speed settings as well and it goes from 1 to 6 so most of the time if I'm being honest I use number 6 just for just about everything I've never really had a reason to use anything less so I'll hook it up, I'll get it set up, and I'll start sanding, and I'll let you know how it goes. So that's a good cut ready to go. A little bit of an adjustment, as I don't have the correct fitting for the correct sander uh, extractor. So 
got the DIY there, not a big deal. And all you just know is standard head on the opposite wall. I'm going to use the random ore bottle and I'll use the flat edge one for the internals and I'll plug in the triangle one and sand a little bit here and there just to see how it works. Um, straight off the top, this is quite quiet in relation to the other sanders. Um, the extractor is more noisy, You'll, I'll give you a little here. on the sander and you don't get the brrrr as it starts to kick in or anything, it's really smooth um, which is actually really surprising. Um, the head is a bit shaky but we'll see how it settles out and yeah let's see how it goes. I could argue that this isn't fully dry yet, ready for sanding, but times are hard. Um, the, it might be how I put it on, but it's so close, it's actually touching the other side of the internal and it's actually like scoring it ever so slightly. If I set it up properly and it does it again, there's probably a certain sand in this to use for this. Not the one I'm using. I'll try it again. Okay, I'll try it again. I think I've put it on a bit better, so let's hope it doesn't do it again. be a certain sanding disc to use on this but the sandpaper actually comes past the edge and um, the, the sandpaper I've used is a set size of 225 and um, but it seems to be creeping just past this little line and it is hitting the tape next to it so if you're being pernickety trim the paper but 
For me, it's a little bit of a flaw in its book. Um, it's actually defeating the purpose of actually using this, so a bit disappointed. I'm going to try this now. This is the random orbital one. I um, already like this again straight away because it's not got the sponge back like the other ones do. This is quite a hard base and it's got the holes like the other sanders that I'm used to. So, looking forward to trying this one out. Well, fingers crossed I know there's a difference and um, let me see how it goes.
Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us for our live q and I'm joined by Richard Jones from Flex. Good morning, Richard. Good morning. Um, as you saw in the review, that was a review of the Flex Giraffe GE7. Yeah. Um, Flex, you do a whole, ran a whole range of different products, don't you, Richard? We do, we do. We deal with four different uh, markets, uh, stone, um, metal, uh, angle grinders, or, or that comes under metal, uh, building and renovation, and automotive polishers. And now we've just launched a brand new cordless range as well. Fantastic. Well, um, we're going to be taking your questions in this session. Um, if you want to comment, feel free to comment in the um, comments box. If you have got a question you'd like to put to Richard, if you could hit the ask a question tab for me and type your question in there and it'll just help us keep track of the session because if you do type it in the comments, we may not see it. Now, as I said to you in the other um, session, um, we do have a competition. Um, we are going to be giving away a um, flex drywall cordless screwdriver um, and we will ask a question at the end of the session um, to see how much you know about Flex. So, um, Richard, I can see we've got a question in the questions box, um, yeah. which is from Mark. He says, can it be used with the Festool CTM MIDI? I guess Mark's already got the MIDI. Right, okay. Well, there was actually another question when we were doing the video that I didn't answer with regards to um, someone also asking if it can be used with the Merca dust extractor as well. Okay. Um, Give me two seconds, sorry, they're just cutting a tree down right outside my house. I've just got to shut the window and then I'll answer the question, but give me a second. No worry. The answer is is yes, they can They can be used with different dust extractors. Um, what I would say is you need to speak with the relevant manufacturer of your dust extractor to possibly buy an adapter for the tool. But yes, they can be used with, with most mainstream um, M-class dust extraction. We would recommend M-class when, when dealing with um, dust on construction sites. Fantastic. Um, Richard, what are Flex famous for? Um, well, Flex's claim to fame is they invented the angle grinder. So the German verb to grind is flexen. Uh, so in Germany, Flex is a household name. People walk into a store and ask to buy an angle grinder. They say, I'd like to buy a Flex, a bit like we asked to buy a Hoover when we go into a shop. So um, yeah, we're, we're famous for inventing the angle grinder. Oh, fantastic. And what other tools are available in the Flex cordless range? You mentioned there was a cordless yeah, range. Yeah, well, we've, we've got a very, um, our cordless range is growing all the time, and we've now got a very um, complete range. We've got everything from jigsaws, um, drill drivers, combi drills, uh, rotary hammer drills, um, a circular saw now. Um, we've now got a cordless dust extractor. It's not suitable for the drywall sander. It's not quite man enough, but it's ideal for sort of, um, woodworking or, or general tidying up. Um, we've also now got uh, impact wrenches um, and the range is obviously the drywall screwdriver which we're, we're giving away in the competition um, and, and that then moves us on. Once you get into the Flex battery platform we're now offering a complete range of uh, cordless uh, automotive polishers as well so the range it is ever growing and it's an area that Flex are really trying to, to, to grow and develop. Fantastic. I noticed we've got a question from Kevin Robbins. He says, what would be the main advantage of buying the um, Giraffe GE7 over competitor models? That's a good question. Uh, the advantage of the GE7, um, I don't know if you know, but Flex offer two drywall sanders, the GE5 and the GE7. Uh, the GE7 has a more powerful motor, has a 700 watt motor over the 500 watt of the GE5. Um, I don't think any of the other competitors' um, sanders, I, I may be wrong, but none that spring to mind have the interchangeable heads on them. So we have four different heads to, to suit um, a lot of different on-site situations. Um, our tool is also perfectly balanced. Um, if you hold it in the middle, um, it will just sit there on your hand, and that's the way the weight distribution is, is balanced on it. Um, uh, we, the machine comes with a three-year warranty, uh, providing you register on our website. Um, and also, Flex have been developing drywall sanders for a long time now, so we're quite experienced in, in this industry. Fantastic. You mentioned there about the warranty. What is the registration yep. process? Um, 
basically once you purchase the tool from from one of our dealers in the uk um you need to go on to our website www.flex-tools.com if you scroll down you can click uh, click register here and once you've registered you then now receive a three-year warranty on the tool uh, if you don't register the tool you will still get a warranty but um you will only get one year Oh, so it's definitely worth making sure definitely. you register for that definitely. warranty. Yeah. All our repairs are done in the UK. We have two UK warranty centers and we'll get the tool collected if the worst case scenario, uh, repaired and returned to you uh, as quickly as possible. And what is the difference between the GE5 and the GE7? So the GE5 has a fixed head um, and there's two variants. There's, so there's the GE5, which has the, the circular head, which I think was shown in the video, just the standard rotating circular head fixed to the machine uh, that has a 500 watt motor. We do a machine called the GE5R, which is the um, segmented head that gets into the reveals and the edges that uh, Jordan had a few issues with on the video. Um, that's again, so that's the two GE5 and GE5R. They both have a 500 watt motor. Uh, and then we have the GE7, which has a 700 watt motor and the removable heads on it, basically. So it's a much more powerful machine, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. It, it is, it is. And you've got the, the added advantage of, of buying the additional heads with the machine. When you purchase the GE7, it just comes with the one round uh, normal rotating head, um, but you can buy the other heads as, as, as accessories. Oh, fantastic. Um, and why is the Flex Sander called a giraffe? Uh, years ago, we used to have a director of Flex, and um, he seemed to have a bit of a, a habit of naming all, all the tools. We used to have a grinder called the Bear, and um, <laughs> we, we used to have uh, various different names for tools. And the, the one that sort of stuck because of its uh, long neck and the long pole on the, uh, it was the giraffe. So it's become sort of our, our, our go-to name for, 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 our, for our Flex Sanders. Um, but yeah, and it sort of stuck, really. So... So, yeah, well, that, it's memorable, really... isn't it? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, do you need flex sandpaper, or can you use any make? That's from Will Treston. Um, well, of course, we're going to advise that you should buy the flex paper um, because that's the paper that's been designed um, for all the testing to use with our machine. Uh, but you can use other manufacturers. We would recommend, uh, personally, from from when I've been doing demonstrations. And you guys probably know a lot more about sanding than I do. Um, but I personally find the yellow perforated pads to be a lot better than the, the, the brown select paper. Um, also for dust as well. They seem to, to collect more dust as well than the ones, the brown ones with the, the holes around the outside. But yes, they do come at a higher price. But you can, the answer to the question is yes, you can use other manufacturers' paper on, on our machines. Okay, fantastic. Um, one thing I forgot to mention you got to you guys is if you do actually want to come up on the screen, you can come up and you can put your questions to Richard directly and speak to us on the screen. Um, if you don't want to, that's fine. That's um, why I'm I here. I can put your questions to Richard for you. I am quite scary. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, and how many different heads are available for the GE7? Uh, so there's there's the four heads available. So it's the circular head, um, the triangular head, uh, the dual action or eccentric head, which is the one that rotates um, and sort of moves side to side, which I think Jordan liked. Uh, and then finally, the um, segmented head, the one with the cut off part to get into the reveals. Um, I think that's the one that Jordan had issues with. So there's four separate heads that can be used for, for, for the machine. Fantastic. And you can also change the backing pads on the heads as well. So we have soft, medium and hard backing pads as well. Um, the machine comes with the, with the soft backing pad usually, but um, you can then change them um, if you buy an additional head, which will then suit um, your personal preference, um, which I think a lot of people, some people prefer. But again, it's all down to personal preference. So changing the backing pad as well will give you a different experience when using the sander on the wall. Okay. Um, and what size is the Flex 110 volt M-Class dust extractor? Okay, so our uh, M-Class dust extractor is a 30 litre. Um, it, um, it has the automatic clean function on, so it sounds like it's banging, but what that banging is, is um, banging the filter to knock the dust off to always keep it at optimum suction. And it's a, it's a, great, um, it's a great pairing with, with, with one of our drywall sanders. Brilliant. And um, do you offer any additional accessories for the GE5 and GE7 sanders? 
Um, well, of course, the G7, you can buy the additional heads because it only comes with the one round head. Uh, we do also sell an extension bar, um, which um, you can put onto the end of the, of the pole to give you slightly better reach. Um, and finally, um, I think we might be we might be looking at bringing out a small sander that you can use the heads from the GE7 on, so like what's called a handy giraffe. Uh, we used to do one, but I think we're looking for an upgrade. We're a bit of a trade secret there, but I think we're going to look at developing one um, that will take the heads of the GE7, but it's not available as yet. I mean, it could be a few years, but I think one day we might see a sales product like that in the UK. Oh, that's quite exciting news. Um, and what about additional accessories for the uh, flex range of dust extractors? What yeah, so when you buy the dust extractor, the machine comes basically uh, with the, the dust extractor. Uh, one thing we do offer is the hose that connects to the sander is actually an anti-static hose, uh, where some of our competitors don't offer that. Um, we can then sell a floor cleaning kit. So if you wanted to clean up the, the, the site afterwards or your floor after you finish sanding, you can then unattach the sander and put, put the floor cleaning kit in, which is like the nozzles and the, the, the poles um, like you do on a regular Hoover, dust extractor, sorry, I shouldn't say Hoover. Um, uh, we also sell um, fleece filter bags and wet bags as well, because all our vacs are both wet and dry machines. Okay, and um, what size screws will the Flex um, drywall uh, DW45 drywall yep. hander take? Okay, well, the, the, the machine um, in the set version, which we're, we're giving away, and that comes with um, that comes with um, two two and a half amp batteries and a charger, 18 volt two and a half amp batteries, and the um, collated screw head that slots onto the drill which is removable and can be twisted around at any angle uh, that will take up to a 25 to 55 mil screw okay and you mentioned about m-class dust extractors what makes an m-class dust extractor okay so an m-class dust extractor i think the key it has to have an m-class filter in it um, it also has to have, which a lot of people don't use, but when you're not using the, the hose to the, the tool, you have to have a cap that you screw in to stop dust escaping from the bag, uh, from the front of the, um, the tool where the, the hose collects in. Um, it also has to have a buzzer to let you know that the machine's, um, the machine's bag is, is full and needs emptying. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, I think that's mainly it. Our dust extractor actually has two filters on it as well. So um it's, it's a very well made machine okay and do um we need an m-class dust extractor if we're doing site work um technically yes it's a bit of a gray area there is there is some rumors going on that when you're sanding gypsum products you can get away with an l-class dust extractor but as soon as you then want to hoover the floor you have to have m-class so um predominantly uh m-class is what's required on, on on building site through the current health and safety regulations Okay. But they're ever changing, so it's always best to check um, with your local health and safety authority. Right. That that's good advice. Um I mean, what's the flex pack cordless concept? What's that? Okay, like? so in, in order to promote our cordless tools, we're offering um any three of our cordless range. Um I think that it's going for seven hundred and ninety-nine pounds. And with that, you get any three tools, so body only, uh, three of our 18 volt five amp batteries. Um, one of our digital chargers that shows you uh, exactly how many minutes you've got left to charge on the battery and a nice little sort of uh, hold all carry bag to put all the tools in. And these are also available through, through many of our dealers. So, Oh, that's a good deal, isn't it? Yeah. Right on there. Um, so what about your dealers? Where, where can we buy your products from? Uh, well, if you go to our website, www.flex-tools.com, we have a full list uh, of dealers on there. Um, the main sort of uh, decorating or dry lining companies we deal with would be companies like Belmore Tools, Walls and Ceilings, uh, Drywall Tools, uh, Amarok, Gypsum Tools, um, to name but a few. But I'm sure I missed some out there. But please look at our website because it has a comprehensive range of dealers. Any dealer can order in Flex. So even if you're not near any of those companies, you can look for your local dealer, go and speak to them, and they should be able to order the product in for you. So fantastic um, also the big online companies as well woodstock flex a uk tool center uh ffx so we deal with most of the major sort of online um retailers in the uk so that flex um pack cordless concepts they're all running that 
um, at the moment? Uh, a lot of them are running it. Yeah, if they can, if they're not, if they have, if they're not, they can order it in from Flex Germany. So. All right, brilliant. Um, and what about the warranties? We talked about the warranty before. Um, yeah. Where are the warranty centres based in the UK? Uh, we have one based in Yeovil in Somerset and one based in Derby in Nottinghamshire or Derbyshire, of course. Yeah, sorry, Derbyshire. So um, um, what we would do if you did have any issues with the tool, um, just just um, uh, give the dealer you, give the dealer a call or give one of the warranty centres. It's either JMAC, UTS in Derby or Miles Tool and Machinery Centre in Yeovil. They will then arrange for the sander to be collected from you, uh, repaired and returned to you as well. Okay. Now, we talked a lot about um, the products that you have for Flex. What yep. are the products that would suit trade decorators? Okay. Well, the cordless tools, obviously, um, as I said, uh, the range is ever-growing. So everything from drill drivers, impact drivers, jigsaws, circular saws. Um, and now we've also got a whole range of smaller sanders for sort of timber, woodworking, that sort of thing. Uh, we've just bought out a new uh, 150 mil sander that takes out um, takes multiple sanding discs. Um, um, that is available on a three mil, or it's, a, it's a dual action sander, so it's available on a three mil or a five mil orbit. And this actually has the lowest vibration level on the market of a lot of our competitors. Um, and that would be another great tool for the for the, for the for trade decorator sort of market. Brilliant. And all these tools can be seen on our website again, so. All right, so check the website. If yeah, definitely. If the products you need, you'll be able to find details on them there. Oh, we've got a question from Kevin Robbins. How would the 150 millimeter sander compare to the Festool five millimeter? Um, I, obviously, Festool do a number of different tools. I'm not sure which Festool tool you're talking about. Um, ours would only, uh, I, I imagine it's a very similar tool to our 150 mil, 5 mil ORE sander. Um, I would say it's probably on par as that tool. Um, but I think from tests as well, ours has definitely got a lower vibration level and ours has also got a brushless motor. Okay. And are the Flex G5 and G7 and dust extractors available in both voltages? Yes, they are. They are. But predominantly we sell them in 110 volt because a lot of dry liners are doing site work and they need 110 volt in the UK. Oh, fantastic. Do we have any more questions for Richard? Um, if you want to type in your questions in the ask a question box and we'll go through those if there's any more before we finish the session. Um, we're going to move on to our competition, Richard. Um, right. So we're give it, do you want to tell everybody what the prize is? Yeah, so we are giving away one of our DW45 um, collated drywall screw guns um, or collated gun can be used for, for timber applications as well. Uh, it comes with two, two and a half amp batteries, um, one of our digital chargers, and it is um, all comes in one of our nice black flex branded L boxes. Fantastic. Right. So I'm going to ask a question now. And the first person to type the correct answer in the comments box is our winner. And the question is, what are Flex famous for inventing? Oh, we have a winner. Tom South. That was very quick. It the was quick, right yeah. <laughs> you, are, you are a winner, Tom. Um, Tom, I will, everyone's still typing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll type you my um, email address here in comments. And um, if you could drop me your um, address and telephone number for the courier, um, and I'll get those over um, to Richard and we'll get that prize out to you. Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations. Bear with me, I'm not the fastest typer. <laughs> It's um, Paula at phoenix-media-solutions.co.uk. So if you could drop me an email, Tom, just with your address and your telephone number, and I'll get those over to Richard. So um, I think that brings us to the end of our session, Richard, unless there's anything else you'd like to say about Flex before we finish. No, I mean, um, thank you guys for who use Flex, for using Flex. Um, there's a lot of sanders out there now, I know, and the, the market's getting a lot more populated than it used to be. Uh, I also notice now there's a lot more cordless sanders coming on the market. 
Um, I'm sure one day it's something that Flex will look at, but I think at the moment where you still got to have the hose connected for the dust extractor, um, you're not having that much benefit of having a cordless tool. So, um, but watch this space, you never know. Um, we might one day join, join the cordless market because I think that's the way most tools are currently going. But yeah, um, Flex's motto is we make quality tools for the craftsman. Um, uh, German uh, manufactured a lot of our tools, not all of them, but a lot of them are manufactured in Germany. All our drywall sanders are still manufactured in Germany. Um, so you are getting a quality tool uh, now with a three year warranty as well. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thanks everyone for joining us. It's been a great session and thank you, Richard. Thank you. Thanks guys. Cheers. See you all later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.